Ang ganda ng panahon ngayon. It's such a good day to be a student again, no? So, where are we today? Where am I, guys? Anyong sayo mga patatas! Welcome back to my channel! This is Christy Cho, a.k.a. Christy Pata, your favorite Korean girl! And guys, guess where I am today? I'm in Holy Angel University. It's the biggest private Catholic university in Central Luzon. Basically, guys, I'm gonna be a student again. And guys, finally, we are here with our first episode of my new series. We live in this generation where young people struggle to decide on what they want to do and what they want to pursue. So here I am to help you guys with our new series. So, paano natin yun magagawa, guys? So basically, I'll be shifting different kinds of courses all around the college in the Philippines. College University in the Philippines. Isn't that exciting, guys? Shout if you're excited. Woo! Shout everyone. Come on. <laughs> Parang di excited yung team namin ah. So you might wonder what's gonna be my course today, guys. I'm gonna be a nursing student. I graduated um, international studies in Lasal, and you know it's so far from nursing, so I'm kind of excited and nervous about what I will do because my utak is not for nursing. <laughs> Uy, ang ganda yung ano, fountain nila. Oh, guys, are you busy? Parang nursing student kayo, di ba? Yes, so far, how's your nursing life? Kasi I'm gonna be a nursing student today. No. It's <laughs> very hard. It's very hard. First year pa lang, kaso it's very hard. Madami po kasing ano, inaaral po na processes, ganun po, kaya po terms, ganyan. What are you guys pursuing? Doctor ba or nurse? Siguro po, nurse Okay, that's a good choice. But the question is, di ba all of the Filipino nurses, they want to work abroad. Do you also want to work abroad? Mm, yes po, kasi... Ah, <laughs> of course! <laughs> yeah. So everyone is saying no to nursing, na? <laughs> now I'm kind of scared. Are you busy? Are you going to your class? Uh, Very short interview lang, pwede ba? Okay. I see in entertainment and moving in general. Mm. What can you do in the future if you take that course? Anong ano? What's the path? So, mayro pong maraming paths, pero medyo mahirap dahil if animating yung kukunin nyo sa ibang bansa talaga dito. Ah. Pero if ikaw lang talaga magisa, like mas maganda mag animate ka lang sa rili mo through uh, social media. So sa mga TikToks kanya. Yes. Oh, I'm a TikToker too. Oh. Yeah. TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe, you know, I really love the environment here because um, the school is like harmonized with nature. It's not too packed. I like environments like this. I'm looking for the office. Ah, here. Here now. Please come in. Good morning, Dean. Hi, hi. good morning. <laughs> are you the Dean? Yes, I am. You are so beautiful. Good morning. Welcome to Holy Angel University. So this is the Holy Angel. <laughs> yes, it is. So doctor, I'm gonna be your nursing student for today. That's good. Yeah. I hope you enjoy. Uh, I'm so scared because I graduated international studies. Oh. It's liberal arts, so it's very far from nursing. What what courses are there? For the undergraduate programs, you have three. First is nursing, which is the most popular. Ah, okay. The second would be our radiologic technology, and we also have medical technology. Okay, this is my very personal question. Do you watch a uh, Korean Korean medical K drama? I the, watch K drama, yeah. not just the medical drama. Yeah, you watch like yeah. all the parodies of oh, K drama. Yes, yes. When you watch them, is it realistic? Some are ah. Korean. Drama or series are good in portraying medical related forces. Oh, They're good. Okay, interesting. Oh, what can you say about the meme, Dean? Do you know the meme in the Philippine drama, medical drama? The nurse is doing that, but mm -hmm. she's doing it fake. Like, it's not even here. <laughs> what can you say to the young children who are dreaming to be nurses and doctors? Well, I say go for it. <laughs> Yeah, go for it. It's an interesting profession and 
it's a fulfilling one whether you are in the hospital or like us in the academy. In the hospital, it's a different kind of fulfillment because you get to help other people. You get to see them through their worst and how they recuperate. And then here in the academy, you see how the future of healthcare are growing, are learning. Yes. yes. Can you give us what is one of the um, best thing about nursing here in Holy Angel? Nursing here at Holy Angel University, the moment I entered, we really considered those experts in the field. We do not just invite people just so we can accommodate a lot of students. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why we're trying to limit the number of enrollees, for example, the freshmen, to 100. We would not want to get a lot of students and then compromise their education. It's quality over quantity. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. What, what will I take today? I would like to recommend a class and a laboratory class, maternal and child health nursing. I think you're really going to enjoy oh, that. Oh, I mean, I'm going to be a mom in the future. That's oh, yes. going to be a good lesson oh. for me. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I think you need a transformation, so let me have oh, you a yes. nursing uniform <laughs> just so you can change. Okay. Para feel na feel mo, di ba? Yes. Tada! <laughs> nightingale. You're Nightingale, everyone. <laughs> I just want to ask, how many hours is this class? Are you ready? 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. So that's four hours. What do you do that time? Do you like uh, do surgery and dissect? I think I need a doctor. I suddenly have a headache. Run. Hello. 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 <laughs> Here. Yes. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So our topic for today will be the postpartum mother. And this is what we call after the delivery. So do you think labor and delivery is easy or difficult? Difficult. Okay, difficult. A lot of you will be probably saying, I do not want to give birth anymore. I will yes. just take care of a puppy instead of giving <laughs> birth to a baby. You remember this? What's your name, right. by the way? Mix. Mix. Yeah. Oh. First year? Second year. Oh my. Yes. I'm just gonna take note now. Now, class, I want you to understand how important the postpartum stage is, okay? Because it is possible complication would occur during postpartum. So postpartum is after giving birth. Yeah. So you're still on the table. Ah, recovery. This is otherwise known as your hypovolemic shock. Good job. Do you understand? A lot of mothers would die because of this. This is the reason in the Philippines, mothers are not allowed to deliver their babies at home. That is because of the postpartum bleeding. Probably 15 years ago, mothers may deliver their babies at home. No, assisted only by a helot. A helot is a trained helot, a traditional helot who did not undergo any training. But when it enters the stage four, the helot would usually leave the house. And the mother is left with the relatives. And nobody takes care of the mother after delivery. So then after delivery class is crucial. For example, the mother who just delivered the baby, and you notice the vital signs changes. And you have now already an idea what is happening to her. So let's talk about the temperature. How do you describe the temperature of a woman just after delivery? What is the temperature? There is a slight decrease or increase? Very good. The increase probably is the first 24 hours due to dehydration. And in this discussion, why is there fever? What is the reason why there is fever again? Dehydration. When there is dehydration, what is your intervention? Refer to the doctor or do something else? Very good. And what are you going to do to hydrate? Drink Gatorade. Skate to read. Okay, okay. <laughs> so what do we mean, nurses? You have to do something first before you refer to the doctor. Do you understand? So we are not receptionists and say, Doctor, the patient's temperature is elevated. So what did you do? Yes. Here, I am referring to you. Temperature is Nurse elevated. Is it could be related partner with doctors. Yeah. I yes. offer fluids. Uh, I have a question, Prof. 
Is it true when you give birth, your boobs will get soggy talaga? Okay, okay. This is the physiology of what is happening. Yeah. During pregnancy, there are hormones of the woman that will make the breast big yes. in preparation for breastfeeding. All right? However, after delivery, when there is no more milk production, there is a, a characteristic of atrophy wherein the breast sags. So your question, the answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> so that is the concern of a lot of students. If yes. they have small breasts, is it possible for them to still breastfeed even they have small breasts? Yes. 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 Because yes. the hormones of pregnancy will prepare the breast for breastfeeding. That's my biggest fear. That's why I asked. And it is very important. Soggy boobs. Regularly. <laughs> oh, I like it also. So are yeah. we going to breastfeeding or not breastfeeding? One CF. So when you study nursing and something like this, right. do you want to give a? The one you want to give birth. <laughs> Are you learning from my class? Yeah, I'm learning so much. Uh, but I feel like I don't want to give birth anymore. Actually, <laughs> what is the cause of depression of mothers? Yeah, very good. Is postpartum blues normal? No. Yes. Blues? Yeah. The postpartum blues class is the sadness the mother experiences due to hormonal changes. So because of hormonal changes, mothers would cry for no reason at all. Yes. Sometimes they will be holding their babies and... <laughs> and then you just ask, Mrs. what happened? What happened? Wala. <laughs> I just feel so sad. Let me give you an example. I am the mother and it has been 24 hours and I haven't sleep, slept yet. No, I haven't slept yet. And I was already crying. <laughs> and here comes the husband. Be, anong nangyari? <laughs> what will be your answer? You are the husband. I am crying oh, because I am so good sad. Answer, ah. Be, hindi ko na kayang alagaan ng baby. Anong gagawin mo? Oh! that right everyone okay. <laughs> so after our first class I feel hungry now it was a long discussion but yeah. it was very interesting eye-opening topic yes. uh, is there any cafeteria we can eat here that's known in Holy Angel parang may special menu ba actually it was known because it's it's a new building new building po kasi siya. oh okay so we are here canteen yeah. wow it's been so long I did not come to a school canteen. We have different sauces. Ah, okay. We also have this kind of thing in my university before. Uh, it's called Agno Ag in Agno. Lasal. Ah, Agno. Agno, yeah. There's a lot of good food. Agno. Uh, so, what do you guys recommend? Siyempre, I don't know anything here. Uh, Rice with totkatsu oh, chicken. Okay. Yeah. Where's that? So many food here in Holy Angel University. Like, they have okoy. But I never saw that in Lasal, you know? <laughs> they have tacos, tempura, carbonara. They have bibimpap, oh, samgyopsal. Damn! Chai mogo. Chai mogo. Chai mogo. Mmm! Yeah! So, what, what, what do you call this? Yakut. 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 So, I just wanna ask, why did you choose nursing? <laughs> Actually, uh, before uh, uh, before I graduated in senior high school, mm. I wanted to choose tourism. Talaga. Oh, and but, then? You know, family, you want me to go medical school. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, he always told me, you have to try, you know, med, uh, pre med, pre med. Mm -hmm. But ayun, I never listened to him. Typical Asian parents. Typical Asian dad and mom. But is your dream. To be a doctor or nurse, guys. Nurse long. Oh, that's nice. Cause hey, there's a question that I always been wanting to ask the nursing students. How do you feel about mga people thinking na nurses are inferior? 
you know that the meme na the more knowledge you you have, the less talk. Ah, yeah, the less you have to explain to people. Yeah. So that's your mindset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're judging the nurse based on what they sound like. Yeah. Without. You know what? Now that I'm taking one class, like I can clearly see what the nurses do, talaga, no? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, making it clear, nurses are partners with the doctors. Okay, there's no there or here. No, they're equal. They're partners. There is no such thing as alalay. <laughs> What's alalay? Um, like helper. Helper. People see nurse, uh, doctors to utos, kanya. Yeah, make utos. Mm mm. Among nursing, but in reality. We do everything before we refer to the doctor. Mm -hmm. We do everything, the intervention. Um, how's your nursing life so far? Okay, ba? Stressful. Yeah. Stressful. And tiring. Second year. Yeah. We're gonna drain you out right now. Lala pag duty. That's after duty. Sometimes the class pass. You have to come to the school at 5:45. Early in 5:30. Oh because my God. We have call time. Also. The call time is 5:45, so we need to earlier than that. Need to come to school earlier. Wow. Academics pa lang. You're already like, yeah, ano? Yeah, you're drained and you're already like, should I say, parang submissive to, yeah. to your job, yeah. no? Parang, uh, sleeping is prohibited. <laughs> <laughs> so, our next class is, ano? Uh, nursing it's, arts parang, it's not class. We're just gonna experience the lab here yeah. in Holy Angel what Nursing. What nurses do? Mm -hmm. What's his name? Do you know? Sir Noy. No, I mean this person. <laughs> Hello, Hi. Pa. Hi. Hello. Sir Noy? Yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Hi. not trying to interrupt your class. No, no, no. Fine. Uh, I'm just wondering what's the patient's name today. Oh, okay. So our patient, our patient's name has always been Susie. Oh. Susie. Yeah, Susie. She's a girl. Uh, just by looking at she the... She can be a boy. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're not inclusive here. Okay, okay. okay. Let's not uh, label. <laughs> Okay, so I heard this. Uh, Susie is a very expensive person. Yeah. Do you know the estimation, Sir Noy? I do, but I think I'm not contractually uh, allowed to. <laughs> just kidding, just... Estimation. Estimation. All right. So it's let's just say it's seven digits, uh, and seven is the first number. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Let's say um, hi to Susie. Susie is currently. Why is her eyes like that? Is she sick? In China. So there is no beating of the heart at the moment. She's dead. At the moment. This is one of the reasons why uh, we decided to purchase Susie to help our students because the chances of our students actually encountering a person near death or dying at yeah. the moment is not um, uniform throughout their exposure. So simulation models like Susie, and later I'll be showing you how, allow us to uniformly inform and educate our students about critical skills and knowledge. So what can Susie do? Uh, she can do a lot of things. So let's okay. try to revive Susie first. So we'll, oh. give, <laughs> we'll give Susie a normal heart um, wow. rate. So, why oh, so there... Susie can revive anytime she wants. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <-like. laughs> But does Susie pee? Ah, uh, not on command. But if, say, for example, um, we're, they're going to do a foley catheter insertion. So here, so yeah, let's see if actually. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. The, again, that's one benefit of having a mannequin. Yeah. Uh, we don't have to deal with those cultural sensitivities <laughs> yeah. of nahihiya magpakita or whatever. But we still train our students that he still has to ask for consent. He still has yeah. to um, respect uh, the respect Susie as if Susie was an actual patient. So here, Susie is female presenting at the moment. Yes. And then this is actually like freshly shake shaven. These students, these seven year students, have seen patients in labor and have actually assisted in deliveries and delivered babies themselves. And they're not always clean shaven. And it's mm. your responsibility to shave. Can I learn how to CPR today? Because I, I, have, I, I don't know how to CPR. Okay, it's a very yeah. valuable skill. All right. Wow, I'm finally learning how to do CPR yeah. and save people's life on the street. I know. <laughs> when you see a person like flat on the ground or unconscious, you don't assume that they need CPR. Yes. So what you need to check, uh, Christy, is the pulse. Pulse. So the most accessible one and easiest for um, civilians like yourself who are not uh, healthcare professionals is the carotid pulse. Oh, yes. Check on yourself right now. Yeah. Okay, ideally, don't do, don't do that because you will suffocate yourself. <laughs> Only one side. Right. 
What's it that? You check whether uh, the patient is breathing. Yes. So we do that two ways. Listening to breath sounds ah. through the nose and then checking for the uh, chest rise and chest fall. You can bend down ear to ear to the nose and then here, okay? Ideally, if the person is breathing, there will be a chest rise and chest fall. But yes. since um, Susie is not breathing, you won't see anything. Alright, now that we've as ascertained that she does need CPR, now I'll be asking you to, to be a bit rough here. Is yes. That you go up on the bed. Alright. Okay, and then the position is dominant hand over your non dominant hand. So this is the sternum, the midpoint, yeah. the bone here. The, the squishy bit at the end of the siphoid, uh -huh. that's, that's your target. Okay. Alright. So you lock your elbows, you lock your shoulders, mm. your power will come from your hip. Alright? Alright? Okay, try, try again. <laughs> ah, like this. Yes. Ah, okay. And you could see here that Susie Ooh. is actually reacting. Ooh. So that that's what we will, how we will assess Whoa. whether or not your CPR is effective. One, two, two three. three. But how hard it should be? Um, well, the ideal is two inches deep. There's a lot of fear from our students that, sir, if it's that deep, wouldn't I be crushing or breaking the bone? Did, yeah, did yeah, yeah, I heard that. It's better that you crush the bone and then revive the patient than to not ah, have revived the patient. Okay. Like, I, I think they would be more grateful mm. that you revived yeah. them than... Because the bones will just... Correct. <laughs> very good. For, for, for somebody who's not a nursing student, yeah. it's very good. Alright, so you have to do that 30 times. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they always sweat in yes. the K-drama. Yeah. Like they're like, <laughs> exchange! Correct. Like that. Correct. 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 I know we're not from the same generation, Christy, but the 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 código or the chichi that we have for the rhythm is the song uh, Stay in the Life. Okay. One, two, three, go. Ha, 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 ha. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Ha, ha. 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 Ha, 